So your inner subjective, so your inside subjective, is sadness and anger. I mean, that's your. Yeah, inner your subjective. inner subjective is sadness, and your inner objective, where you objectify yourself for for others, is anger and love. That's judgment and whatever. So these are your inner worlds. You break it up into objective, and then you break it up into subjective, subjective experience, sadness and anger. Wait, is it sadness and happiness, or just only sadness? Sadness and happiness is the pole. So if you haven't、right. processed your grief, you're sad. If you process your life experiences of trying, taking, learning, and growing, your path of being. If you're doing good progress, then you're happy. If you're doing bad progress and you're stuck, with your failures and mistakes and losses, you're sad. Okay. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. So then you have your inner object. So you see yourself as an object. So you see yourself as an object. Then you develop standards, disciplines, values, virtue. Then you develop passion and character and love. But if you suck, you fuck it up. You have unresolved emotions. You have hate, contempt, anger, resentment, inner critic, stress, because you're judging behaviors or parts of yourself that are unintegrated. When they're integrated, then you're loving them. When you're judging them and compartmentalizing, you're hating, resenting, you're push-pull reacting. This is just all inside stuff. Then you want to navigate into intersubjective. This is relationships. So then now you're diving into fear, which is dealing with other people. So other people as objects. So you see other people as object, and you see yourself as an object, and with others. So then you、What's、have all your different fears. When you don't have fear, then you have freedom. So that's where we talk about freedom. <laughs> that's where we're talking about relationships and freedom and shared society. You, you all already said freedom. You already said flexibility. You already said agency and choices. That's the top side of fear, where you start developing. Uh, responsibility, fluency, and dignity in our shared reality. You start with rules and copying, but then you get better as in your relationships, connecting and serving, and eventually you get the freedom instead of fear and panic, anxiety, and just fitting in into lemming jail, other people's expectations. Here, you. Scale up from just copying bullshit to be safe, into meeting people's demands, being more civil, being more responsible, being more fluent, and then being a dignified gentleman, using the traditional pointer. Virtue, you go the path of virtue, and then the subjective side of life is shame, the performance, the performance of you being in public. And the performance of other people, being in public, intersubjectively. So that's how you play the roles. That's how you shapeshift. Kurt was talking about the shapeshifting nature. So this is the quadrant of interpersonal, subjective reality. So you can hide in your role, and just try to play it safe. That's the land of shame and cover up, where you get lost in identity. You you have a mask, and you get lost in your identity. You think your mask is your identity. You think your role is your identity. You think your cover-up is your identity. Identity, <laughs> and you never do the creative act: acting, expressing, creative, performing, beauty, art, poetry, being seen as a co-creating co divine、uh, expressions with God, or just with creative energy. That's the.、Uh, Liberal arts path, the creative arts path, the artistic path, trying to capture the divine through prose, art, work. Transferring shame into pride, or divine creation, intersubjective. So the subjective world in our interpersonal space. What?、Uh, I mean, this is great. What, yeah. 
I think so. Um, Other people, uh, oh, too simple, too abstract, too something. What do you think about uh, connection as the opposite of the the inter objective? That's freedom. That's here. Connect and serve, right here. Okay, you have connection. You start connecting and serving instead of avoiding and distracting. That's if you're living in fear. You're an addict for cookie, cookies, avoiding your pain and trying to distract yourself, and you're in this spiral. You get into connect and serve spiral. Develop dignity, and now you can be seen and have dignity. You're part of creating society. Mastery. But that's balanced with your inner world, which is also your building character, deeper meaning, connecting to your soul, fulfilling your destiny. <laughs>